All right, y'all, Professor Malik X here again with some news on a sexual harassment investigation between Taylor Hendricks and Jay Lethal. Apparently on Twitter one day when a fan was talking about Ring of Honor and Jay Lethal's title reign, Taylor Hendricks chimed in and said, also the dude you're standing up for is the same dude that told me because I didn't sleep with him, they sabotaged me and took me off TV, that being the almighty Jay. And she followed up with another statement. I know this is going to be on wrestling sites. My name is Taylor, and this is my statement. Attorneys on my behalf have an ongoing investigation. I know I'm not the only one. People that have known of this investigation have been supportive. I'll continue to fight for what's right. Also, she says, and I quote, let the hate roll in. Doesn't change what happened. I came forward and probably, probably long ago, and now it's public. If I stay silent, I'll be a part of the problem. I can't live with that. I'll fight for what's right. Threatening me, supposed burned bridges, changes nothing. Let the hate roll in. Of course, uh, if this has been going on for a while, Taylor Hendricks, this should, be, this, uh, should have been brought to light a long time ago. Not now, a month or so later. This is what makes these kind of accusations very suspicious and very sketchy. Now, Ring of Honor also responded. We are troubled to hear the allegations that surfaced last night on Twitter. We take these matters very seriously and we'll be investigating this situation thoroughly, reviewing all evidence related to the matter. Ring of Honor strives to provide an environment and workplace where male and female wrestlers are free from any misconduct or abuse. We will take appropriate action upon the conclusion of our uh, findings. Now... We're talking about the wrestling business. As far as I can see, there's nothing safe about the wrestling business via male or female, especially uh, on the backstage uh, working environment where you're free from misconduct and abuse. Any new wrestler, male or female, who comes into business knows there's a hazing period, and wrestlers make it hard and also uh, basically treat the rookies like shit just to establish a pecking order or establish a fear and inferiority, basically saying you have to earn your respect, earn your spot, and earn my respect since I'm a veteran, which I basically completely uh, disagree with because some of the methods I've, some of the methods I've heard of, especially the jokes, tampering with one's belongings, and also in an article I read on Awesome Kong, who trained in Japan, there's been there's been there's been there's been cases known where wrestlers uh, jerk off in someone's toothbrush and then put it back. So, you know, I don't see how that's earning somebody's respect. All that is, to me, is fear and intimidation, basically like, like slavery. And there's no place for that in, in wrestling or in, or in the world. But, of course, getting back, to the, getting back to the subject at hand, Jay Lethal responded with his statement. Let me be clear. There is absolutely no, no validity to these baseless allegations. Throughout my career, I have sought to conduct myself with honor and integrity. I would never engage in any conduct that disrespects this business or the men and women in this industry. Every individual has a right to be heard and must be given every opportunity to speak truth to power. Anyone engaging in misconduct or abuse of any kind simply has no place in our business or our society. I am confident that these unfortunate allegations will be proven to be completely unfounded at the conclusion of Ring of Honor's investigation. And also, Jay Lethal advised fans on Twitter, please do not use my words here as fuel to attack myself or my accuser. There is already too much hate going on around in the world, so let's not add to it. Yeah, that's true. There, there is hate, too much hate going on around the world, and there's especially a lot, a lot of hate in the wrestling industry. And the thing is, Jay Lethal, for your sake, I hope this is true. But as you know, wrestlers, for the most part, past and present, when it comes to beautiful, gorgeous women never conduct themselves in a professional manner. If they see a, a woman they like or a piece of, to them it's a piece of ass or a piece of pussy they like, they're going to go for it. And they're going to either talk to you to try to get to know you to get it or just flat out ask you if, if they can hit it, especially if, if they're a star and they know they can help your career. But in response to uh, that statement, Taylor Hendricks herself has posted some screenshots, and this is where it gets kind of sketchy because this is why I find this fit, uh, uh, 
I find this a little fishy because the screenshots aren't very incriminating. Taylor, it's me, Jay. Are you busy? Hey, Taylor, I really need to talk to you. Please let me know when you have a moment to talk, please. Well, well, Taylor Hendricks, like I said, that's not very incriminating. No evidence there of sexual harassment. Just a man asking if he wants to talk. Now, Taylor has responded saying, deny all you want. This is, the, this is what I got on my phone before you pulled me aside at a show and told me what you told me. Now, if the, t- if the text had been, hey, if, if, you want, if you want to keep a job here, uh, you know, make me happy camper or, you know, let's meet and I'll give you my hotel room number. You know, if it's something like that, then, yeah, I could see. But that's not very uh, incriminating. I just hope Taylor isn't trying to make some uh, a quick cash and grab. And like I said, for Jay Lethal's sake, I hope, you know, he's true to his word. Personally, on both ends, this may be a work to get some attention to Ring of Honor. If it is, it's working. But it's a sick way to do it, and it's a sick subject. You know, it, it's a sick thing uh, going on in the world and in the wrestling business. A work should not be based on sexual harassment, especially now with this Me Too movement. And women, you know, uh, fighting and striving for of equal rights and equal, you know, share in this world and in society, whether it be a financially or personally. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, peace.